Hi world, Chatty Dad here today. Well, he's done it again. Executive Order, National Defense Resource Preparedness. This executive order gives the Secretary of Homeland Security and other Secretary of Energy, Secretary of Health, Secretary of Transportation, Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Commerce. The ability to take all of the things that they want and need in a state of emergency. They can take your food supply, they can take your cattle, they can take your farm equipment, they can uh, take your vehicle, they can take anything that they deem necessary for um, the good of the country or whatever. But the funny thing is down here at the end this is the really funny thing um, This order is not intended to and does not create any right or benefit subs substantive or procedural enforceable to law or equality by any party against the United States. Its departments, agencies, or entities, its officers, employees, or agents, or any other person. Um, and where's this other one? Um, nothing in this order shall affect the authorities assigned under executive order as amended except as provided in section 802 of this order. Um, basically, it excludes any of them. This does not affect any of them. Only us. So all these people, all these people here, it, it's exempt to them. They, uh, they get to keep their stuff. They can't touch them. But everything else, um, you know, they can keep. <clears throat> food you know I mean this this is a bad thing people here's a little art article from Minuteman News it's executive order 13603 how dangerous is it President Obama signed Executive Order 13603 on March 16, 2012. The purpose is to delegate authority and address national defense resource policies and programs under the Defense Production Act of 1950. It provides framework and authority for allocations and appropriations of resources, materials, and services to promote national defense. So, if uh, in case of a SHF scenario, we're all going to be in big trouble. They can come in and take our homes, take whatever. Um, and, you know, it's law and it's signed. I haven't, I think I've mentioned this in another article. I just wanted to bring it to your attention again. Anyway, 
It's not a good thing. Not a good thing in my book. Gives Obama the power over all commodities and products capable of being ingested by human beings and animals and all forms of energy, all forms of civil transportation, all usable water from all sources, health resources, forced labor such as military conscription. The federal officials can issue regulations to prioritize and allocate resources. There you go. Here's a few of the comments. You know, people aren't happy about it. But, uh, you know, he did this behind everybody's back. And uh, not much was said about it. I hope everybody's having a good day. God bless each one of you. And God help us all. My uh, information about... Patty Broussard is uh, panning out to be, I, I'm, I'm right, I believe, John Moore on his show has also found the same thing that I've found, that it is not credible, and it's uh, disinformation. Anyway, and you know what, shame on Godlike Productions for hyping everybody up and sit there and yesterday they sat there and had a story come out that said huge huge power outages in Florida and I checked it out <laughs> and there was maybe 30 people affected a few sporadic power outages in Florida here nowhere near a huge power outage and transformers aren't blowing up and power lines aren't burning up it's bull Anyway, never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. Buy all the ammo you can, if, where, when, and how you can. And prep all you can, while you can, while we still have time. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.